If you want hard evidence to prove that your father's dead, you have to start by the book. First, what about fingerprints? Psh, won't work. My father was never arrested, so he was never fingerprinted. What about military records? He wasn't in the military. Okay, then, uh, what was his blood type? Check that, too. Old Doc Adams closed up shop ten years ago, and he died soon after that. The doctor took over his practice, threw away all the inactive patient files. Damn. Well, what about his dental records? Another dead end. The man who fell through the skylight had false teeth. You know, this is enough to make me believe in conspiracy theories. Look, I'm running out of time, Sam. I need to find a way to prove that that man in the coffin is my father. Well, Luis, there's always DNA testing, but it's expensive. And it could probably take more time than you have. And I thought of DNA. Well, that would put a huge dent in Miguel and Teresa's college funds. Now, our father's already hurt them bad enough. And all the evidence points to the man being your father. Yeah. Except for one thing. In her heart of hearts, Mama still believes that Herb Martin is alive. Now, I can't live with myself if I deny her this one last chance of finding the truth. That's the price you pay when you really love someone. You can't deny them. Then there's no choice. I have to do the DNA test. You know, if I were you, I'd talk to Eve Russell. Ivy, what brings you by? I'm sure it can't be my annual clearance sale. <laughs> Heavens no. Um, oh. Nothing as pleasant as that, I'm afraid. I came by because I know that you are Pilar's friend and you both worship at St. Margaret Mary's. Yeah, that's right. Well, as you know, tomorrow is Pilar's husband's funeral. I was hoping to make a gift to the family. Enough money to cover the funeral. Oh, Ivy, that's very generous of you. Oh, please, it's only money. Unfortunately, Pilar and her son, Luis, are both very proud. And I don't think that they would accept the crane help outright. I was hoping that maybe you could find a way to get the money to them without them knowing where it came from, perhaps through Father Lonigan. I, you know, I'm sure he could work something out. Thank you, Grace. Oh, well, it's very nice of you to be so concerned about Pilar. Pilar's not just my housekeeper. She's my friend. And she has been for years. I treasure her companionship and her advice, although... I don't always take it. Well, I'm sure Pilar understands when you don't take her advice. Yes. She does understand. Pilar knows all my secrets. <laughs>